Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be reacting to one of my favorite adventures on the channel, climbing to the top of Mount Apo. And if you didn't know, Mount Apo is the tallest mountain in the Philippines. So when I first came here last year, I wanted to climb to the top of Mount Apo because also at our family house in Davao, this is the place that you can see from the backyard. So you can see the tallest mountain in the Philippines from the backyard of our family house in Davao. And I wanted to get to the top of here and experience what it would be like to go to the top of this. So I have the video pulled up right here. Let's get this video started. So we start this video in Davao City and it's at 3 a.m. So right off the bat, I was kind of worried about sleep deprivation. Like, would I be able to physically do this without any sleep the first night? <laughs> and I think the excitement and the adrenaline of, you know, being on the edge and not being certain of what exactly would happen um, pushed me to do my best and push me to the top of this mountain. Also, knowing that a lot of people in my group, we were a group of 12 people, a lot of my people, a lot of the people in my group were also in the same boat and we get to meet these amazing people here. They really made the, the hike more entertaining, more fun. And you can see here that we're, we're warming up for the hike here and it's just fun, you know. What I really appreciate about this hike is how well organized it was and how amazing the people were in my group. And this is the owner of Sakatabai. This is the company that organized our hike. So I loved, uh, I loved the experience of Sakatabai and I would definitely do it again. And I did do it again a few months later, but the way that they handled the transportation, the food, uh, you just basically had to bring your own gear. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was awesome. And as you can see here, this is the ride to the start of the trail. And you go into the back of this truck and you would never be able to do this in the US. <laughs> And that's kind of what I love about this experience is that it's something, it's something unique. Um, it's something that I couldn't find back home. And it was a huge bucket list. It was a huge bucket list uh, tick <laughs> off of the list. And, you know, this is the start of the trail here. And we start in a farmland. And what I, what I kind of say during this is uh, watch how the environments change throughout the video. There's so many environments that we see on the way here and it was a locked in date. So no matter what the weather was during this trip, we had to deal with it. <laughs> and uh, I was ready for the rain, you know, I was ready for the rain, but I think if you're going to pet going to pack for a major hike, I would recommend getting some waterproof, waterproof gear. And I think the most important thing is to get good socks, like wool socks, socks that won't, uh, that resist wetness <laughs> and really good hiking shoes. Because if you're going to be climbing this high for this long, this trip was three days, you're going to want to take care of your feet um, I'm not prone to blisters, but a lot of people are. If you have good socks and good shoes, that will help prevent any discomfort that you could have for your feet. And your feet are, they're going to be sore, guaranteed. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> the second thing I would bring is bring a lot of water. There were a few water stops every, I would say, three to four hours of hiking. Uh, so I would at least bring two to three liters, um, a pretty big water bottle. Make sure you're drinking throughout because it's going to be tough to climb Mount Apo or any mountain that you find yourself climbing. <laughs> we took frequent breaks and, you know, I really focused on my pacing and my breathing because I feel like if you're, if you're hiking, you really you really forget how to breathe properly because it feels like you're on a constant treadmill, whether you're going up or you're going down. It feels like it's endless. And here, this is the first night. <laughs> this is after the first night. So 
okay i didn't really sleep the first night the second night here i slept a shaky one hour because i kept on waking up because of how cold it was and i didn't expect it to be so cold i thought this was the philippines it's supposed to be warm uh, i wasn't really ready for the moisture like i couldn't keep my socks or my feet dry and they were constantly cold throughout this trip but just moving like continue to move i think that's that's one of the, the other tips i should i should say is that if you're cold just keep walking you know, keep going through the trail. And this is where we start our hike at two in the morning. We leave the first campsite and we hike into the sunrise. And I know that this is the push to get to the top of Mount Apo. And you know, it was really cool. It was really cool to do this with all these people. And uh, yeah. And here I ask the question, what will be the story of your life? And I think that was something that, uh, that was a reflection that I had because I, I, I knew that I wanted to make YouTube videos. I knew I wanted to, uh, I knew I wanted to live the way I'm living right now, where it's sharing adventures, reflecting on life and just staying consistent and, uh, Keeping hope alive. I think that's really, really important for anyone, no matter what you're doing. If you're in school, if you're pursuing a dream, I think it's really important to keep hope alive and remember that you should listen to you, your heart and where your heart is pointing you to go. And during this time in my life, I I really listened to myself and I was like, I, I want to do these these hard things. There's a lot of things I have planned for the future that I want to take you, that I want to take you guys to, and uh, they're going to be challenging things. They're going to be things that scare me a little bit, but I think that's where the best of life is captured. And speaking of that, this portion of the trip of the hike was one of the most spectacular. We got to the top of the boulders here, and we found this outlook where it just looked like we were dancing on the clouds. And these are some of my favorite shots of the trip. And yeah, I love re reliving these moments with you guys because these were hard moments. Like it, the, the video makes it look so easy, but every single step on this trip of these three days, it hurt. <laughs> And I think that's that's one of the fun parts about conquering something like this. If you have a dream, you know, if you have a physical dream of climbing a mountain, going to a place, if you have something hard that you want to do, you know, a lot of my friends are in medical, medical school right now and they want to be reaching their dream of becoming a doctor, keep that hope alive. And you can conquer it step by step. And I think that's what's really important is that you can't get caught up in here. We here we get to the top of Mount Apple. You don't want to get caught up in thinking about how long and hard it's going to be. You just have to take things day by day, hour by hour, second by second. And one of the things that really resonated with me, I don't know where it came from, but it's something that's helped me push through being consistent on YouTube, on consistently posting is, you can do anything that comes to mind. You can do anything that, that sucks for one minute. You can do anything that sucks for 30 seconds. But once you get that momentum started, you can build that endurance and a minute becomes five minutes, becomes 30 minutes, becomes one hour. And before you know it, uh, step by step, little steps will take you to that big goal. And I think these these hikes that I've been sharing on the channel, they they exemplify that. And that's what I've learned. And that's what I want to share. Those are the lessons I want to share with you guys about anything that's difficult. <laughs> and I'm working on it. You know, it's not going to ever be a perfect process. You're going to have hard days where you don't feel like doing anything. But if you can do something 
hard that brings you to your goal <laughs> for at least 30 seconds, then one minute, then five minutes, you can do it. You can do anything you put your mind to with that mindset. And I'm thankful for everything that this experience brought me. <laughs> oh man, I was so cold and tired by this point. <laughs> and I thought this this one log bridge was so funny to me. The bridge was literally one log, like, so funny. And a lot of these people, I'm so thankful to have met. And I want to shout out to Sheila. Sheila helped me film a lot of these other shots, like these shots of me walking. And it really helped. It really helped uh, me because I was I was anxious about not getting good shots during this entire hike. And I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad that the video turned out the way it did. I'm so I'm so proud to be able to share this. Um, but yeah. Here I'm saying that I want every single video to have something that could change your life in it. And I think that that still rings true. That's like my mission with this with this channel is to reach a deeper part of each and every one of you watching. And help you to reach that point of inspiration and not let go of any dreams that you have. Because I have so many, I have so many goals, but... I don't want to do it alone and every time I see more that's the end of the video but every time I see more subscribers come in and I see any positive comments you know it really inspires me to do my best it really inspires me to do more and right now I'm going through these videos and reflecting and I'm glad I'm glad that I can share these experiences with you guys and teach you guys a little something along the way. So if you enjoyed this video, please like the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.